Hi everyone. Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper and today we are going to make recipe cards. Now I'm going to do this in several different ways. There's no wrong way. And I'm making these recipe cards for my recipe album that I have coming up and we're going to have some fun. Yeah, just be creative. Now you guys know me. I used my scraps so I know you're shocked. Hold yourself back. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm just going to go over a few things, and then I'm going to use these on my layouts. So, um, I've talked about it over the last couple videos, how I've been storing things for almost two years. I went over all of my gathered up papers. Then we made a couple page kit yesterday. And today I'm going to make some recipe cards to use on layouts. And then tomorrow I will do my first layout. And we're just going to see how it goes. I mean, just like y'all, it's trial and error. That's how it's going to be. So there's a few things that I use to create... I guess you can look at this two ways. It could be recipe cards or you can look at this as bases. However you wanna use them is okay. You could do this and just make them journaling blocks also. Um, I'm going to use them as recipe cards. I'm gonna show you a few of the things. First, I'm gonna show you ones that I have made. They're not completed because I'm going to decorate them with each layout and whatever papers I use, I'm gonna use to decorate them. And I'll go through that a little bit more as I go. Um, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll go over that a little bit. I'm going, then I'm going to show you the tools that I've used. I will link anything I talk about and I can still help you find. I will put that in the description. So when you're giving me that thumbs up, which you guys really don't know how much the thumbs up mean to me, they mean a lot because it generates more people coming then that will lead them to love RTS and it will just be a beautiful, beautiful circle that we are making the world go round, right? <laughs> so I will link those below. So like I said, hit that little arrow on the description and it will have every single link. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. So um, yeah, I'll put that in there. And then after I go over the tools, if there's enough time and it's not too long of a video yet, we'll maybe we'll complete a couple together. That That's my plan. <laughs> Now, you see a whole big old mess, but I have created these little file folders and you will see that this one says recipe, okay? And then I'm going to open it and it has lines. If I need additional um, writing space, I may tuck in a index card. Index cards, easy, everyone can do that. Um, and you will see me use those through the course of the layouts. Now, my plan is at the top of the layout, because I'm doing this at a 12 by 12 um, format. So my plan is to, did I put them in here? I believe I did. Uh-oh, okay. My plan is to take these tiny little mini paper clips and I purchased these on Amazon. I'll put that link below also. Sorry if there's a glare. These tiny little paper clips. Let me get a white piece of cardstock. And I am going to paper clip them if I do not have a pocket to put them in. Is that better? I am going to paper clip them to the top of my layout. So I thought these would be really cute at the top of a page with a mini, like a little paper clip at the top. Not this. Okay, I just had them. Oh, I set them over here. I set the wrong thing to side. I haven't even opened these. And you've probably seen these in one of my hauls. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them. Maybe I got them somewhere else. It's been a while. I don't remember. But I do know you can get them on Amazon. So picture a 12 by 12 layout. And then up in the corner, I'm thinking maybe I will go like this. Right? And have that there and then all a person has to do is to slip it right outside the page protector take this off open it up and use the recipe i could also paper clip it like that right at the top that would work also oh i dinged my paper up a little bit more room for embellishment <laughs> um so although that's one of my ideas another of my um and this is a die that I got and I will go over those products. I just kind of put recipes. Um, you'll see later 
when I show the product, I cut the S off because I hated that it said recipes because each layout's going to be one recipe and it bugged me. Yeah. So I did that. This one, I used a little sticker um, from a sticker sheet. You guys have seen me. I use this on my Simple Vintage Cottage kits, um, which I haven't forgot. We're still going to make embellishments for those base pages we made. But <clears throat> um, I used one a sticker and then I just stamped recipe on it. Uh, again, I will show you the stamps that I used. Then I die cut this one. Oh, my washi tape on math put glue i die cut a bunch of die cutted a bunch of these i don't know how it's called i cut a bunch of them out and with the little notebook thing you're always going to have simple recipes or i have a lot of them that are i had five kids so literally some of my recipes and don't come at me but with five kids it wasn't always um in my budget to cook fancy it wasn't in my time and so sometimes it's just a can of this a can of that and a little bit of that and dump it all in and cook it in the crock pot so i did think maybe i might use some of these but instead of recipe to change it up i had to stamp the set of ingredients then recipe cards can be any size you want right and i'm going to go over these ones here in a minute um i made this one and i stamped both on the front and the back again I'm thinking of making pockets at the top of layouts and I will slide this in so you could just pull and have this sticking out. So you can just pull this out and or using these small paper clips that I was just talking about. Be any size you want. You can decorate it with washi tape. Um, depending on what the layout has, if I have flowers, I could stamp some flowers or put some stickers or put some embellishments up here and I stamp the back as well. And I, the stamp set that I have has those lines. So, and I got it on Amazon, you guys. And actually, it's, it's a decent stamp set. I'm kind of surprised. This one, all I did was take one of these um, folders, these little mini folders that I have, and I just traced it. And then I just cut it out and I made my own little tab. And I stamped some little measuring spoons, recipe. This was the first one I made, so I was learning the stamp. But you know what? That's okay. It's going to get worn. It's going to get used. Um, and then I stamped it this way so I had more writing room instead of this way. Because once you flip it over, it doesn't matter which way it's going, right? So there's that size. Um, I did this one. And I left part of it with no stamps. I distressed it. I used some more of those stickers on the back. I will do the same thing. Um, I'll decorate them as I go. Like I said, I'm right now I'm just creating bases to use. Um, I picked colors out of my scraps of things that I, um, I know will go with the papers. And you know what, you guys, there's nothing saying I can't make this a little bigger and I can't mat this with some of the papers. There's nothing saying that I can't just make one on the fly with papers that I have in the kit. This is endless, truly, truly is. And while these right now are kind of plain, I'm going to decorate them to fit each layout. Uh, it's kind of like when I talk about using your scraps to make um, embellishments, you wanna go monochromatic. I want these to be kind of plain right now because I'm going to jazz them up when I go, when I use them. I'm gonna make them feel like part of the layout. That truly is my goal, truly, truly is my goal. Okay, so there's that one. And then I have this one. Again, I used another one of those. I stamped a little spatula and the word recipe on there. Um, I did not put any lines on this one, but that's okay. I mean, I can just freehand it. Now, some of these darker papers, I might end up using my white gel pen, but I'm all right with that. Now, I have all these bases that I can just pick from. All of them, lots and lots and lots. Um, there's a checker, let's see here. Here's a butterfly one, and I did that. I, that came with that last um, Simply Vintage collection. This is a piece of paper I had left out of that in my scraps in my green. So, you know, there's those. Gingham's gonna go with everything, right? Here's a teal with the red on the other side. Some of those mason jar papers that I showed in my kits, that'll go well with that. This one is just clear inside and I'm just gonna decorate these as I go. I just made a whole bunch of these and what a fun, fun little mini folder these are. These are fun. I, I like these and whatever I don't use, I'm sure I can either gift or I can, who knows what I'll do with them. Y'all never know. <laughs> I'll find something. Okay, so that 
is all of those, okay? Then, before I get to the products I use to make those and where you can find those, um, I have, over the last two years, you guys seen this one. Remember in the one kit, I put this, um, I believe it was a photo play. All right, come on. This is when a messy desk is not good. Um, color play, it was color play, right? Yes, yes, I believe so. I hope so, yes, it was. This is a Jen Hatfield. This is color play, okay. And I'm not sure what this one is yet. I know it's a pumpkin. Here we go. Is this the B side? Yeah. These other ones I have over here to the side, we'll go over those in a minute. It's a doodle bug. Okay, so these were color play and I just sat and I cut some of them out. I think I have six sheets of these. Yes, they are orange, but a lot of these papers, this one almost has a red. A lot of these papers are going to work with this. And yes, they all have fruit but I can cover these up. I can decorate these. There's a B side to every single one. These are perfect and I got them on clearance and I bought a lot of them. I think I counted, I had six of them because like, look at that one. I could easily, easily, even if I wanted to cut this edge and re-mat um, it, I could. So those I cut out and um, let's see here. Here's what they are exactly. Color play, happy fruit, orange recipe cards, paper. And I know they have different ones. I do not, I got them on scrapbook.com. I do not know if they have any left. I got them on clearance. Um, I would just look up color play recipe cards and see if any come up. They have different colors. I know they do. Um, orange was all they had left on clearance. And like I said, I've been doing this over the last couple of years. So I don't know when I got them. I just know that I got them. Now, this one is... Jen Hatfield's, um, yeah, it's this one right here. I am not good at this, so I'm just gonna let you read it. Along the way, um, that's the B side, and they're just all these recipe cards. They each also have a B side. I cut them, they're very plain Jane. I'm not going to stress about the floral because I could put a mixer over this, or I could just put a piece of paper and make a border on the top of it. I will use these. Most definitely, I'm not gonna worry about it. Some of them are just black and white. Um, there's a couple pink ones in here, but that's all right. I'll, I'll make them work. Um, again, I've been collecting all this stuff over the last two years. So these are going to work perfectly, and I will figure them out. So there's those. Then I got this Pumpkin Spice by Doodlebug. Let me see if I can put that right on up there. Um, so these are all cut apart and I bought it because I loved these longer ones. A recipe card does not have to be an index par card. It does not have to be a four by six. It can be whatever you want it to be. It is yours, right? And good quality paper. I'm not a fan of the B side, but I liked all of these. And again, I can decorate these however I want. I can make a new tab out of some scraps and I could easily put recipe on there. Um, and they're teal and green. So I cut all of these apart. There's one with an owl, I think. Yeah, there's one with an owl. Guys, I have, I apologize for my fingernails. I was doing yard work. I thought I scrubbed them really well. I think there's some stuff under my nails. <laughs> it is what it is. Had a lot to do. I planted grass today. That, that oh, I ha it's never ending. I have two acres. It's a lot. Here's all of these just um, that I have punched out of scraps that I had. Um, and again, I'll use the papers in my kit. I'm gonna continue to make them. So those are the recipe cards that I have ready to go and or bases ready to go, okay? So there's that. Now, the tools that I have to go with this, uh-oh, mayday, mayday. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this white piece of paper down. I don't wanna lose those. I'm gonna put this white piece of paper down so it's easier to see some of these stamp sets. Now, um, the first stamp I said I have is this one here. Um, it came with also letters that I probably won't use, I'm not gonna lie. I probably will end up putting them in the giveaway, but uh, this is what they are. Um, I have one on this block, the long one. I have, I cut these apart because I didn't want them side by side. 
it's my product. I'm gonna do what I want with it. So there's that stamp set that I bought on Amazon. Okay, and it's just an off brand. And I'm gonna tell you, it's actually a pretty good stamp. You will see as I use things, I put them on this and then I put them away when I'm all done. So I always, I have so many stamp blocks, it's kind of crazy. There's that. Then, oh, and I don't know if you noticed, but there's little bits up here, right? Like there's a fork and knife, there's a scale, there's those measuring spoons I stamped. Um, it says from the kitchen, directions, ingredients, serves, time, title. It's really good. It's for making recipe cards. I just broke down and bought it. I don't even remember how much it was. It was not very much. There's that stamp set. Then I also have this stamp set. It is a Kaiser Craft stamp set. Um, I got this one on, where did I get this? Oh, I know where I got it. Where did I get it? I can't, oh, top, scrapbook.com. Yep, I bought it in an order to fill up one of my orders. And um, yeah. So I like it because it had the recipe, but I cut the S off because I like this font, but I didn't want it to say recipes. I wanted to say recipe. And then I, this is where the spatula and the fork came and it has baked with love and care. I loved this one fourth, one cup, one half, one scoop. I don't know if I'll even use them, but I do like them. I got that. I will try to find that and put a link. Um, I think I got it on scrapbook.com. I'll look through my orders and I'll find it before I post this video. I'll make sure you have it. Okay, so, or access to it. Then I bought a die set off of Amazon and it has a bunch of pieces. These are the two I use. This I know I can find the link to, not a problem. Um, good die set, it's okay. It wasn't that much. Um, I like it, it's working. It makes these adorable photo file folders. Like how cute, they're so cute. So there's that. Um, I think that's, that's it. Now, I used a photo corner. You do not have to have all those tools. I used a photo corner, okay? And if you don't have a stamp that has lines, look through your stamp set. You know, after I bought this whole thing, I found lines, but they weren't long lines. So I am glad I bought it, but I could have made it work if I really wanted to. I also have this old school template, and if you have these, dig them out. These are all from Creative Memories. I've had these for years as I used to sell Creative Memories when they first came out, and you could just trace lines too. You could also just use a T-square. You could use a ruler. You can make your own lines. You do not have to have a stamp, so don't think you can't do this unless you have all the things I have. You can. I mean, I don't know, a, a crafty person craftier than me could probably make a file folder but I just okay, enjoy so that. let's make one of these you know I think I'm going to make maybe I'll just make this one it's a pretty blue and a green um yeah I'll just make this one and I'm going to do it without any of my tools I'm not going to use my dies I'm not going to use my stamps. I'm gonna show you that you can do this without any of those. I think everyone knows how to stamp. Everyone knows if they have a Sizzix and or some other die cutting machine, they know how to do that. So you just cut your piece of paper to whatever size you want. And in fact, I think you could use ledger paper too, y'all. Let, let's use this one. I'm gonna use this one. I have a pile of scraps that I wanna make into recipe cards. So it does not have to be small. It can be whatever size you want it to be. So I'm gonna corner round it because that's what I like. Doesn't mean that's what you have to do, okay? Then what am I gonna do here? I want it to say recipe, but I think I'm going to use the larger one. So I'm gonna take this little one off. This is how I get ink all over my hands, but you guys know it just is what it is for me. That's how I do it, okay? Now I like these blocks, these Martha Stewart ones that have lines on them because I can line it up, try to keep it even. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it does. We'll just see what happens today. <laughs> and I think, do I want it? I, yeah, I think it's okay on top of the lines. So I am going to get out my stamp pad. Now I have one of those Tim Holtz ones. I'm just too lazy to drag it all out. And this one just sits here. So I'm using this one. I have two. I used this one for years. I thought I needed that. I didn't. I could have lived without it, but I do enjoy it when I'm doing repetition stamping. I, I really do. And I push hard and it'll say recipe on it. 
There we go. Looks good. Woohoo! Maybe what should I put? Should I put anything? You know, really, that's good, right? So I'm just gonna set that one to the side and we'll make one more. We'll do we'll do another one real fast. Ledger paper, really good option to make recipe cards out of because you don't have to put no lines on them. You just have to stamp or you could even use alphas on here and put recipe. That would be a fun idea too if you have some alphas you need. But R's and E's and I's, don't we all need those? That's why I'm, I'm using a stamp. I always need those. I don't know about you guys, but I always need them. Um, let's do this this square here. Um, no rhyme or reason. Just because, oh, this is card card stock, like for making cards. So it's kind of hard to put in the corner rounder. Now, I like them corner rounded. I do have a couple that I didn't, and you don't have to. To me, it just makes them look a little, a little more fancy, a little more fancy. Now I'm gonna put my lines on first. So let's get rid of the stamp pad and let's just use our T-square. That's what I'm gonna do. You can use a regular ruler, no wrong way. Remember you guys, no wrong way. Ever, ever, no wrong way. All right, so I wanna give myself room to stamp recipe also, I wanna give myself enough room to write the name of the recipe. So I'm just going to line this up. I'm gonna take a Sharpie. Why do I feel like this is not straight? Because it wasn't. Now it is, okay. And I'm just going to go from one side of this to the other. That's it. And then I'm gonna give myself enough room and I'm gonna do it again, okay? and so forth and so forth, you would go down. Just like that. You decide how far you want to space it. A lot of times I will use these numbers. See how I have it on this and the numbers are just at the top of that line. So then the next one, I would put the numbers right at the top of that line so that it's evenly spaced, okay? So forth and so on. You keep on going down the line, okay? And then I would probably do the back so I could have both sides to write on and we'll stamp recipe on top of this one. Let's use a different font. This is the one I cut the S off of. I love this font and I love that it's a little bit smaller. And I'm going to, this time, do this side. Let's see here. I wonder, should I, should I try with opposite one now? I just don't have enough pressure. Otherwise I have to stand up. It's a whole ordeal. Sometimes my knees hurt too bad for me to do that. And then it's even more crooked. I like how it's just a little bit on the inside of it. See how it's just not quite a solid block? I just like it. I think it looks a little vintagey. And then, like I said, I would go ahead and finish the end. But see, I could put like a little banner over here and put the name of the recipe. I can decorate these however I want. And I would just keep on going. This is how I've been doing it all morning all morning this is how i've been doing it in between my chores working outside planted grass like i said my nails are a hot mess that's okay it's life right i'm getting things done i got short ribs in the instapot pressure cooking because i forgot to lay them out and they're still frozen <laughs> yeah gotta feed my family <laughs> what can i say all right you guys so that's how i am making recipe cards Leave in the comments how you would make them, what your suggestions are. Again, you can use index cards. I will have index cards because I might need to add extra or I may just need one. I, I really don't know what all of this is going to end up being, but I do know this. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm super excited. I am even excited at how excited you guys are. I love reading your comments, so please comment. I love it, love it, love it. All right, with that said, I will see you tomorrow. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Y'all have a very, very blessed day. And thank you for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.